Hey y'all, I have thoughts about doing this video for weeks and um, I plan out what I want to say and then I don't record it because <laughs> I'm still thinking through it. Then the next day I think through it and it sounds different and it goes a different way and I don't record it. And so today I'm like completely unprepared and I decided like now is the time to record it. So this is just me and the way that I um, do life. So <laughs> I hope that this makes sense and I hope that you, um, that you understand what I'm trying to say in this um, devotional video. But um, something that has been on my heart a lot lately is um, just the subject of friends, friendship, um, and um, I was telling a friend the other day that I just, I feel like this year has just been so incredibly difficult for friendships, um, and I think I know why. Um, which is why I'm explaining all this to you guys um, because I hope that it will encourage you and I hope that if you're going through a season where um, good friendships are hard to find or even if you're not that maybe you'll um, you'll see that friendships aren't supposed to take the place of a relationship with Christ um, and that might be a that might be a statement where you're just like well duh if you're a believer you know I mean it might be one of those um, like yeah I know that already but and I know that already but it was it has taken a very difficult year of God um, removing friendships um, and I'm giving him credit. I'm giving him credit for everything. Like, um, all of the hardships, all of the, the distancing of relationships. Um, because I really do think that he wanted me to come to this place where I know that I know that I know that nothing can replace my relationship with him. Um... And we're made for community. Um, when he created Adam, he said that it is not good for man to be alone. So he created Eve. And that was the first glimpse of community that we get. Um, and in our hearts, we long for community. We long um, to be with people who um, who believe the same things, who like the same things. Uh, I just spent, we just spent the whole, um, last week with people who are like us, um, at Homesteaders of America, and it was wonderful, um, and that, that all came about because of our need for community, because we need to know that there are people out there like us who have the same ideas and the same values and, um, want to make the same changes. Um, <clears throat> but, um, as I've gone through some difficult situations this year with some very close friends of mine, um, I, I've become more and more aware that I had placed friendships, um, way higher than I have my relationship with God. Um, and when you and when you do that, you are you are putting weight and expectations on a person who should never have to carry any of that. Um, 
I have been very disappointed in some of my friends um, in the past little while and I have disappointed my friends deeply in the past little while and I really do believe this is what needed to happen this is what needed to um, needed to come about just so that my eyes would be opened to how um, I was I was placing these relationships above my um, above my need for God I needed other people and I and um, instead of him and that was that was wrong of me um, and that's wrong of you I mean that's wrong of any of us who are professing believers to say that um, or not even to say that but just to experience that putting putting other human beings above God um, and I know probably most of us wouldn't even say we were doing that but our actions say that um, when something happens and before we before we sit down and we pray about it we're off to call so-and-so to ask their opinion on what you should do I'm guilty of that um, but I'm so thankful that God is bringing me through this really hard wilderness season to um, just so he can be put back into his rightful spot in my life now this is not to say that I, I don't have any friends um, I have wonderful friends I have amazing friendships um, I, I spent this past weekend with um, some of my very best friends in the whole world um, and you know in a couple of weeks um, you'll probably see us uh, do a video we're having a friend friendsgiving with some of our dearest friends um, who are also homesteaders and I love I treasure these relationships I treasure these friendships um, I do trust them I, I know I can go to them and ask them questions or um, and vice versa they know they can come to me and ask for advice and know I'll pray for them and that kind of thing um, but it's when we intentionally or unintentionally put these earthly relationships um, even between spouses above that intimate relationship that we should have with Jesus is when everything goes south honestly um, people are always going to disappoint you always I am always going to disappoint my friends I'm always going to disappoint my husband I hope not to but I'm always going to um, it and I don't think that's a bad thing um, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say um, because I do think that when we go through these it does remind us that um, it does remind us it helps remind us that we are human that um, humanity has has a place and our relationship with the Lord is of the most importance and it um, it needs to be top priority um, some scriptures that I've found in this um, pondering the subject uh, Psalm 23 just um, the Lord is my shepherd I have all that I need um, that was such a great reminder when I when I read that the other day I know I mean everyone knows Psalm 23 most of us know it by heart and when I read that like the Lord is my shepherd I have all that I need like yes yes Lord I do I have all that I need because I have you um, you are my shepherd. You are my guide. You are my leader. 
Uh, you are my friend. You are my caretaker. Another scripture uh, that was actually shared with me by a friend of mine. Um, she, I was expressing this kind of revelation with her and and she was saying that she has gone through a similar time in her life where the Lord led her into the wilderness uh, apart from these friends um, really to minister to her and to speak tenderly to her. So the verse that she gave me was um, Hosea uh, 2, uh, 14 and 15, which says, um, I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her there. I will return her vineyards to her and transform the valley of trouble into a gateway of hope. Um, and I, I love that. Um, Hosea is a beautiful book. It's a beautiful story about um, a man named Hosea who, um, who the Lord asked to marry a prostitute. And um, this was all showing how the Lord was going to be faithful to um, his people, Israel, uh, even through all of their unfaithfulness. And so, um, you know, it, it talks about how she, she ran after um, other lovers. And, um, and other lovers um, in the scripture can be equated with idols and that means looking for fulfillment in anyone other than her first love her rightful love her husband um, and I believe that's what we do sometimes I believe that's what I do sometimes I I forget my first love and um, I'm not talking about Adam I'm talking about the Lord I, I forget my first love I forget who my heart desires and I run after idols I run after people um, who are just like me who who mess up all the time um, who for some reason I expect them not to for some reason I expect them to be my savior to be um, uh, to be perfect and to be the one that that gives all the best advice and um, it just ought not be. So um, I hope that all of my rambling has made some sort of sense to you and that you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you that if you are, if you are lonely, um, which I have felt incredibly lonely this year, um, if you are lonely, then maybe you are in the wilderness. Maybe God has brought you to this place really to speak tenderly to you, to love you, to let you know how special you are to Him, to remind you that He is the one you can trust. He is the only one you can trust. Um, that you are lovely and you are beautiful and you mean so much to Him. I really believe that that is the purpose of these wilderness seasons. And they always result in a deeper, more meaningful relationship with Him. Which is why we get to experience them. So for that, I'm thankful. For that, I'm thankful. For the wilderness. And if you need somebody to talk to, I would love to talk to you. If you need someone to pray for you, I would love to pray for you please send me a message. Um, but I can never be the friend that Jesus is to you. Um, your, your husband or your wife can never be the friend that Jesus is to you. And he wants to be. 
um, so I'm horrible at wrapping up videos like this because <laughs> I feel like I've just rambled but I hope you've heard my heart and I hope that um, you feel encouraged that even when you're lonely that there's a purpose to the loneliness and um, friends are great but um, Jesus is greater so I'm so thankful that he's showing me that so um, I am going to go see what my kids are doing <laughs> had a few minutes of quiet to do this. I guess that's why I just jumped in to do it. So I'm going to go, but uh, thank you for listening and um, I look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time.